Hello everyone and welcome to the game I'm going to fail at. Uh, sorry, I mean, welcome to my mountain of shame. This is a game I'm going to fail at. It's called Space Camp. And it has been an overwhelmingly positive game for as long as I've known it being out. And it came out in 2011 apparently by Zachtronics. I believe Zachtronics makes some very good games from memory. Um, I don't think I've ever played any of them though. Oh yeah, I played Exapunks. Didn't mind Exapunks. Apart from that though, they make a lot of very interesting, different games, from what I can tell. This one is no different. Um, in fact, it's, I think it might have been their first game. The Space Chem is a space chemistry game. So... <sighs> we'll see how this goes, shall we? Welcome to Space Camp. Can you believe it's been over eight years since it first launched? A community-driven um, update featuring a host of bug infections. And it's fantastic. I do very much appreciate that um, they're still patching it. Wait, eight years ago. Day. Um, then that would have been a long time. This would be... No, it wouldn't still be patching it. That would be um, eight years after 2011. 2019 is when they must have released the last patch, apparently. Still, that's pretty recent considering the age of the game. So, uh, yeah, good for them. I like it when they're like, oh yeah, look, they can fix it. Also, research it. Let's see. The time is a research that involves scientific and techniques you have not yet seen, let alone mastered. You're advised to return when you've gained proper access through promotion. Oh. Okay. Oh boy, I'm going to suck at this, aren't I? Nope, nope, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be going into it like that because that is learned helplessness and I'm going to be better. So let's let's see what this is. Oh, it's a video. Space Cam, an introduction. Do you know that sound? Space Cam is a game about ingenuity, open-ended puzzles, and fake chemistry. I mean, it says fake chemistry, but is it fake? This is a reactor. Your objective. Take these. And make these. Okay. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. These are bounders. Bonders. They bond and unbond. Atoms! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go because this already looks very complicated. Um, Alright, so, reactors are programmed with reactions, transfer one set of chemical substances to another. Reactors may move atoms, rotate molecules, and modify bonds. In research assignments, a reactor is programmed to perform a single reaction. Okay. These are Waldos. They grab, move, and rotate atoms bonded together into molecules. While Waldos move constantly, can be redirected with arrow instructions. Waldos execute arrow and reactor instructions on matching color. Okay. I'm gonna hope that's the only thing you're introducing to me. Ah, okay, story. Of pancakes and spaceships. You know, people die in space. That was the first sen sentence in the latest letter from my mother. She had said never set foot in the ship, let alone off the colony of Sagford. When I told her I wanted to explore the stars, she cried. We were seeing a local diner, stacks of pancakes, with mint syrup, and butter on our plates. With every face watching my mother's tears roll down her cheeks as I continued eating. I was ten. Wow. Gave up on the kid really quickly. Like, oh no, you're gonna go- Actually, no, the opposite. Believed in him from the start. Thought he was definitely going to make it because he believed in him in that. So yeah, no, actually, she's a love. She's a great mother. <laughs> uh, doesn't accept. Doesn't agree with her kid, his kids' choices, but is so obviously supportive of them that she's like, "Oh, he's going to leave me." That is one interpretation. I could also interpretation as emotional blackmail, which I'll try not to do. 
which is attached a news article about a recent incident involving the Space Camp Station in the region of the galaxy. Half the crew have been injected through the airlock due to a strange malfunction, and the survivors are available to comment. Needless to say, my career choices were wholly opposed. I mean, yes and no, she definitely believed in you. Sex is just too high, look at these reports, she said. Message. I hear a voice raising with each word. I deleted it, turned off the tablet. The show was en route to a training facility on seminar too. Billions of kilometers away from Tag In a few hours, I'll be setting foot on another planet for the first time. I gaze out of the window and watch my stars shimmer in the distance. You've never been up here before, the pirate called back to me. Nope, first time! And you've never been being one for these jumps for either. Eva, sit tight! My ha hand gripped on the armrest as we jump into seminar two. I thought I could hear my mother crying, but it was just the pilot laughing. <laughs> okay. All right, so it says here, this is the instruction which executes the matching Waldo that passes over it. The, this instruction accepts molecules into a reactor, place a matching instruction into the highlight square. So, um, so input, we want O2. I assume if we take grab Yes No, it says in A apparently is what I need Okay Saying in A This is an instruction which executes matches Okay, can we just see what happens when I press start? Nope, okay so, in A, this instruction causes Waldo to attach. So grab, drop, yep. This redirects the Waldo to a new position. Okay. E square contains one arrow and one non arrow. This instruction causes Waldo to rotate its head more. Okay. Walls stop moving when they collide with the side of the reactor. Okay. The atom collides with another atom. The reactor simulation will really stopped. Okay, so I've got to make it a loop, basically. Okay, then grab drop. Okay. Extraction weight molecules in the output zone leads in the output. Well, that means I also need to grab drop there then, right? Oh, I see, that's meant to be output. Okay, sorry. So, uh, out. Alright, start the reactor then. Go a little bit slower, I want to see what happens. Alright, so let's see. It grabs one. It then turns it. But it doesn't need to turn it that way. In fact, it's actually fine without the turning, I think. Yeah, never mind. I guess it doesn't really matter. It just says oxygen. It doesn't say where, which way it needs to go. Why did I even do the turn then, I wonder? Besides the fact it told me to. Okay. Well, I guess that works. Um, let's make it a little faster then. Okay, well, it's a little bit faster than expect that, but okay. Let's see. Lap cycles. Okay. Reactors used one. Symbols used nine. I mean, yeah, I don't I mean the only thing I could do is remove that one symbol from before that I didn't really need. That's cool. A, a recording, a video file be sent to your desktop. That's nice. Cool, okay. Alright, let's give this another go. Atoms are building blocks of matter. Atoms of the same element have the same properties. Oxygen, carbon, iron are all examples of elements. Molecules consist of one or more atoms joined by bonds. A molecule is manipulated by a Waldo of a single unit. Water, methane, salt are examples of molecules. These molecules are all the same. Okay. So yes, because the number of bonds. So 
This one has three carbon, carbon, he uh, um, helium, 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 carbon, carbon, helium, helium, carbon, carbon, helium. Whereas this one, helium, carbon, helium. This one, helium, double bonded carbon, helium. Helium, helium, connect to carbon, connect to carbon. So yeah, fair enough. No new for you. All right. Solve this puzzle, we use a blue Waldo, which would which behaves identically to a red ball um, thing, but only exists to use blue instructions. To create a blue beta input, drop a red alpha... Wait, to create a blue beta input, drop a red alpha A input instruction right next to it. Click on Um. Drop a red alpha input instruction and right click on it. Oh, I see. Sound blue layer. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well. And then I'm gonna go beta. Okay, cool. You can switch to drop the blue instructions. You can switch to drop blue instructions instead of red instructions by clicking and pressing the tab key. Oh. Switch to drop blue instructions. Oh, that's cool. Okay. In the blue tab layer and then just press up okay while the red waldo defaults to the top and the blue waldo defaults to the bottom either waldo can go anywhere and use every input and every output modify instructions with the right click okay so grab drop so at the moment it looks like i've really just got to do that and then i have to do that and go back and what I want to do is put an out there okay is that everything if I press play what happens oh it hasn't dropped okay that's okay I just need to grab drop there that's fine so press start again and go uh oh. Uh oh. And where is the uh, output meant to be? Oh. Out W. I think that out W needs to be there. Gotcha. So it will drop and then it will out W. You'll pause the output. So it goes there, picks up that. Now, technically. Hold it. Hold it. Stop. Technically, couldn't the red help? Right? Like, it doesn't really matter if the red helps, right? So, if I go down here and do a grab drop, it'll go that way. And then, I'll do a grab drop here. And then, I'll do an out... actually be a out that way yep and then I can go back up because I've still got arrow controls and then I can go back around so then we'll do two at once it's right because oh it's going in B as well sorry so input does the does that to be there or will it just automatically get itself locked? so if I change it to B what happens Oh, I see. So the answer is I probably could do it if I knew what I was doing, but I can't yet. So there's that. Uh, this does mean I definitely want to see if I can get rid of this stuff or do it at a different time. He's out here. Okay, let's go. It creates one. It grabs it, but no. It takes... 
I need to make this take a little bit longer to get there. I can grab it. Nope, almost. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, I don't think it's going to help very much because, yeah, no, damn it. I need to care about the timing a little bit more. Hmm, which means these will return a lot faster. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Uh-oh. Ooh. So stupid. Why am I even trying this? And there it goes. That was a silly idea. Or is it? the start there, do we? The start can be anywhere. Try that. No. no. I want it to be further away. We've got that far. I've got to move that out a little bit further away. Or do I? Yes, I do. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I need to move that out slightly closer. And honestly... There's no reason not to just do that. Oh, that was close. said if this was a little bit further away and this was a little bit closer it would limit the time that they could go together they could be they could be impacting each other right so by this logic Close as possible, I reckon. So they pick it up straight away. Damn it. Okay. Hey! Okay, I want to watch that actually. So, yeah, record solution. Oh yeah, super speed. <laughs> Damn, that worked well. So my symbols views were really, really high, but I definitely did a lot faster, but apparently you can go even faster. Fascinating. You know what? I'm okay with that. All right. So, 
This time it looks quite simple. I just need to get the gold here and the platinum here. I say that, but it may not be totally simple. So let's start by getting this one. So we'll go here and we will grab, well, we'll go in A and we'll grab. It's only one size, so it should be okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully just go here and do a little bit of a, a pump there. Like so. Right? And then I'll grab drop and do my output to the W. Now, it's only a one size thing, so that should be okay. So the gold is going down there. And you are going to take the platinum. So let's go tab, grab, drop the platinum. Maybe a little bit further down that. Okay. And grab, drop the platinum again. Oh shit, I also need in B as well. Oh, it's over there. Oops. I need to pay attention to where it's actually going to be um, spawning too. Grab, drop. And that becomes an out of that. We go this way. Then we go this way. Okay, so that's that one definitely sorted. This one needs to be moved a little bit over, unfortunately. Okay. Should be fine. So in, out. Okay, this still needs an in though. So in. I don't think it needs to be a crossover. Just needs to give enough space. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. We did less lap cycles than most people would. And less symbols used than most people would. So you know what? I think other people may have overthought that. Fair enough. Right, introduction to bonding. Now this one should be interesting. So, bonding and synchronization. Bonders add and remove bonds from atoms. Okay. So if you bond those two, they will be bonded into two. Um, click and drag the bonders to move them. There. This sync instructions action, the blue Waldo will wait until the sync instruction until the red Waldo reaches sync instruction. Oh, that's cool. That actually probably would have helped with the other one too, but anyway. Um, which is probably how they got faster. Yeah, true. Okay. Okay, this instruction specifies where the Waldo start can be moved. Yeah. Move the red start up there. I mean, that's where it was usually. We'd like an input to a circle. So, yep, input A to get some silver. And then we'd like it to grab the silver. Yep. And then we'd like to go straight down. Oh, so it changed to just grab. Okay. Oh, by by holding the corresponding keyboard shortcut key and pressing the reactor square. Okay, fair. Instructions only affect the Waldo that matches their color. Okay, so in B. Fair. Then switch upwards. Yeah. And then grab the atom. It's not entirely sure why it should be a grab and a drop. All right. Okay, so then it says bonders can be moved. Okay, probably don't need those bonders then, so let's move those out of the way. Unless... Could I double speed it? Probably not. Because I've only got one more though. So I'm guessing not. The instruction will drop the fluorine action into boulder. Wait. wait. Okay. And then drop it. Okay. Okay, then you drop. 
then you want to do the bonding job okay and then you wish to go this way and you wish to go this way so you can make a loop and then we'll just need the output loop which is fine you can drop it over here entirely sure I have to use grab and drop but that's okay and then say yep it's there oops how did people do more than the, the tutorial suggested but apparently no there's no better way than what the tutorial suggests okay there's more story the train facility on Seminar 2 was a campus of rectangular metal buildings corrected by corrugated tunnels. The landing zone located rest of the reactor field. There is the only trace of atmosphere on the surface, leaving the horizon empty, similar to that of the central star, as soon as the planet Seminar 4. I sat in the falling chair and table behind a brightly lit room with 15 other trainees. A middle-aged woman stood at the front of the room, smiling. She wore a grey jumpsuit and the name tag read Angel. Welcome to your first day of training, she said. We're going to get started in some of the basic tactics about space camp, sounding its mission. We'll get through some of the drier material later in the session. As she clapped her hands, the lights dimmed and the space camp logo appeared on the screen. Space camp was founded in 2745 by George Vassler. An image of portly mustachioed man appears for a moment before Angel flicked to the next screen, which contained the likeness of Salmon. Salmon. Originally, Space Chem was a subsidiary of Vossler Industries, specialized in the manufacture of fish-based food products. Later on, Vossler Industries folded, and Space Chem expanded to space chemical engineering. The fish disappeared and was a place for a star field. Oh, sorry, the fish disappeared and was a place for a star field. Ever since then, Space Chem has revolutionized the industry with direct react technology. We currently employ over 200,000 individuals. In basic various in various capacities over 3,000 planets and stations. Space Chem is the largest chemical engineering and manufacturing company in the universe. Another Space Chem logo materialized. Space Chem's goal is to provide high quality chemical necessities for human colonies on a universal scale in economical and effortless manner. Any questions so far? Nope. Alright, a pair of atoms can have a maximum of three bonds between them. Additionally, each element has a maximum number of the bonds allowed per atom. Um, this information can be found on the periodic table. Attempting to add more bonds than is allowed will not work. It will not cause any problems. Okay. Well, let's take at the moment. We just need to make hydrochloric acid, which is, as it says, hydrogen and chlorine. So, we will grab the hydrogen and we will go in there. And on the other side, we will go in on B, and we will grab, which we'll need to go up here for, and we will grab that there. Okay. Then we need to combine them, which will just require us going like that, and you will need to drop. Okay, and it actually goes to, actually wait, wait, it's meant to go down south, so actually you will not drop, you will do the bonding, there we go, you will do the bonding, okay, and then we'll go here, and we'll drop, and then we'll go this way, and you'll do your output. Now, the thing is, obviously, this guy needs to do the same thing. He needs to come in. He's grabbed it. He can then go here. And he can drop it. Oh, shoot. No! Oh, phew. Okay, thank you, game, for not sucking. Thank you. All right, now you will be the one who wants to go into a nice little loop. So, then the sinking needs to happen. So, these two actions need to be synced. And I hope that's enough. Um, I think you have to do that. Nope. 
let's see what happens when I press play. So, yep. Ah, but I need to drop it somewhere else. So, hold it. Drop it there. That should be fine. Let's pick up. Let's sink. There you go. It goes. Grabs another one. They wait. They sink. There you go. Beautiful. Cool. So we, I think we did alright there. Removing bonds. Oh, because we have fluorine. Although, we can then double. Re oh, I like how this is going. Okay, so we're going to go there. We're going to get the input in A. Okay, we're going to grab that. We're going to grab it, then we're going to rotate it, because what we need to do, grab, then we need to rotate it, because if it's rotated, we can then use both of these, rather than this one. Okay, let's see if that does what I want, first of all. So it grabs it, then it rotates it. Wrong way. Wrong, wrong way. Okay, can I change the way it rotates? Let's see what happens now. Yes, it rotates the correct way now. That's okay. That's okay. Now, we go this way. And you want to drop that here. In fact, I might actually need to move this one step over. And do the... Ooh, I can't do the turn there. But yes, I can, because it will go that way. So we're fine. We drop it. Let's just make sure this actually works, first of all. And we can make it drop here. And then we can make it... Oh, you know what? No, we just got to do this whole thing and see if it works that way. Alright, so tab. Move that in. Move this in. Okay. Now, the next deal is we will need a sink here. So they do the same thing at the same time. Cool. And actually... Yeah, yeah, that's right. Only one of them needs to drop. The other can wait. No, but you don't want to drop it. Neither of you want to drop. You what you want to do is debond. So delete that. What you want to do is bond negative. Only one of you needs to do that. I'm assuming. Yes. Then it does imply it needs to be dropped in a particular spot, but I'm sure it doesn't. Let's just see what happens. Um, we'll drop up there. We'll see what happens if we do drop elsewhere. So, we'll go here. And then we'll drop. Like so. And then, we'll go this way. And you can undo the output, like so. Let's see what happens. So, it picks it up. Turns it. They sink. Oh. But... He wasn't grabbing it anymore. Stop. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You need to grab. Because you weren't grabbing it before. So let's go. So it picks it up. Turns it. Comes around. They get it. They both get theirs. They drop them off. And then they both get added. Actually, you know what? Technically, I probably only need one of the out commands, don't I? Because this one should be there. I hope. Let's find out. So, turns. Only one of them needs to do the actual command. Nope. Yes. Okay. So we come back around. We sink. And it should be fine because it's sunk. So, we're good. Okay, that works. We can do both at once. I don't see any other way we could have done that, mind. I think we definitely need everything except for the two outputs, so it's a good thing we didn't get those. Yeah, I kind of there's one thing I don't like though. Stop, 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 stop. I want them to drop it together so it feels like they're working together a lot better. And then I want to make this return trip a little bit more. Yeah. 
There we go. Take a little bit faster. In fact, you can just leave because you don't even really need to stay there. You just need to be ready by the time he's ready. Which you are because you sink. So you drop. And by the time you get back around and do your job, he will be waiting for you rather than the other side round. Well, boy, round. Perfect. Well, not perfect. There's definitely still some. Well, you know, I could always move this across by one, two, couldn't I? Because now that they're sinking, that's all that really matters. So, as long as we can drop and do that, we're good. Okay. Honestly, yeah, that, that might work. Let's see. In, turn, go. Drop out. And the only downside is it does need to wait a little bit longer, but that's okay. Like, because it has to do two outs that time. Okay. I think this game is going to get very hard very quickly, though. did it really really quickly i feel good just for just for realizing i only need the one output symbol but some people really did it fast Whew. good for them all right seminar four it looks like a fair number of uh, things too all right so what do we have to make this time we've got to do double bonded Double blended oxygen. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Although, I need to pick up two lots of oxygen in this loop. They both come from the same place. That's the only problem. Or do they? Like, if I get an in A and I make it that color, what happens? Does it make it up there yes it does so unfortunately it does look like it's something that this guy is going to have to do on his own which is a bit of a pain but what can you do so in a it then has to grab the a you know what i think realistically the only way i can do this is with two circles so I'm going to do it like that. So... If I turn around here... Okay. Now we can drop that. Like so. Then it can come up here. And it has to make another circle. Where it goes through in A again, which is good. That's doubling. And then it can go this way. It grabs again. And then it can bond. It goes further forward. It bonds again. And then it should circle back. And drop, actually. No, it should drop as well. Because... It then needs to go on its link loop, right? So... I think this can take it there. So... Change the loop. Actually, stop. Can we change the way it goes in general? Yeah, that's even better. All right, so it can take this. So it can be waiting for a sink here and a sink here to its second bond. And then it drops. 
and then this one should grab Let's see what happens so far so it goes through it drops one it goes through again it drops the second one it bonds, they move onwards, and it takes the round. That's perfect. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So then this one can retreat and go back here and start matching it up. And this one can go up here and it can drop that. And then on its way out, it can do the output. And it can go back on a nice little loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm actually quite happy with that solution. I think that's perfectly reasonable. I hope it works. Um, oh. Oops. Um, okay, that, that works, I think. Alright, so. If this works correctly, he should come through, drop one off, drop the other one off. Bond. Wait. Bond, drop, grab. He leaves to get another two. And while that's happening, he goes around and gets ready for the next one. So let's see. He's waiting. That's fine. There's nothing else that can be done there. I think having this guy doing all the work on this is all we can do. And he bonds, moves forward, bonds, drops, drops, goes, and out. And then by the time he gets back around, he's still back there waiting. And then it continues again. Perfect. I love it. This is this is it. This is this is working great. I'll be very interested to see how I how I go versus everyone else. Probably not very well. I kind of want to watch some really good game play, play players of this and see how they do it. All right, let's have a look. So, I took a little bit longer. I used more symbols than the average. So yeah, no, I, I didn't do fantastically, but I was happy with that. So you know what? Screw you, game. I was happy with it. Alright. My hand in the room flew up. It flew up. There's been a lot of concerns about safety lately. Do you know anything about the... There was an unfortunate incident, she said. Someone coughed and she narrowed her eyes. We have a cell safety compliance record. We had the best people and resources. Unfortunately, sometimes it does occur, but these are rare. They are very rare events. There are only a few other companies the size of Space Camp, including one of their corporate rivals, SFCM, and Organexus. Space Camp was enjoying a golden age of incredible growth and success, despite the news reports. Angela pulled the sack of papers. Anything else before we move on? What really happened? Stuffed her papers in her hand and tapped them against the table in front of her. How does half a station's crew get flushed down the airlock? If it was now malfunction, why were they all there in the first place? The papers slid from her fingers and she stared through me in a lot of lifeless eyes. <sighs> I cleared my throat and she glanced away. Her lips stained into a smile. I need a moment. I'm just going, I'll be right back. Now we have to do three. Ooh, that's interesting. We've only got two bonders, which means it's gonna have to do a loop. Multiple loops. Okay. So we'll do it in A. And you know what? I think this one has to I think we can use a sink here. So this one will also have an in A. So I think they've got to work together this time. 
I mean, they probably worked together before too, but anyway. Okay, so. No, I want to be not out. Not an out. I want, I want to be an in. I want to be in A. Okay, so. This guy comes in. He's gonna grab. Oh, sorry. This guy will grab. But this one will grab. Okay. And we both go downwards like this. Right. Like that. Like that. I wonder if the solution is... No, that wouldn't work. It's got to drop. He's got to drop. One's got to drop it there, one's got to drop it down there. So, for the moment, let's do that. So, you can drop. No, hold it. What if you both bond? Can that work? If both of you add a bond? And we'll add one more bond. And then go up there and you can do a drop and then you can go over here and do another circle and that is when we'll do the out on the one so where's the other sink gonna go because i need to make there be a sink so we don't run into it what is now hmm. that actually doesn't work horribly already no so both of these need to be in the same spot. Let's see what happens when I just put onto that. So they both grab. Okay. So the sink has to be here, really. So stop. Put the sink here. Put the sink here. So let's see what happens now. They both grab one. That's fine. Then they wait. They go together. Do two bonds. Do a third bond. You need to let go at that point. Okay. So you need to drop. And then you need to go up a back up a circle and go back around. Gee, you could probably do the output too. So red layer. Let's see what happens. So they both come. They wait. They do two bonds. They do one more. They drop. Ah, a little bit too soon. The drop needs to happen one step. One step sooner. And this output probably has to happen one step later. And then they cycle back around, and it's all good. There's very little downtime there at all. I see, that's how it probably could have worked before too, to be honest. But that's, that's okay. We're all good. So, I think we're good. Let's, uh... Now, the interesting thing will be when we've got complex chemicals and we've got to output two different things. Honestly, yes. I was happy. I'm happy about that one. I got under the average, barely. Eh, not too bad. Multiple outputs. Oh, I was just saying this. Okay, actually, this one's not too bad. The only thing is they both need to... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So, in A, to grab it. So you can go here. You can grab that. Then you go down there. You will need to probably turn it again. Like, because we need to do it that way. Yep. Which puts down there. Then, we just need to sink. So we're both waiting there. And you need to go this way. And we need to bond minus. And if I'm lucky, I won't even need to do anything strange here. Just need to bond minus on both of those. And they should keep a hold of it short of? No, they won't, will they? Because this one wasn't con wasn't holding on already. 
let's see what happens. So, pause. Yeah, it drops, but this one doesn't grab it. Hmm. The only way I could do it is if I did the two bonds separately, which is annoying, but not. that's why it's there, I guess. So if I do the bond like that and the bond like that, right? What will that do? There still should be... Okay, because then when this bond goes away, I can grab it. And then we can drop here together like so actually probably drop right at the edge because we don't need to waste the time like that and then I just do a very quick circle like so okay so the big question is then they are synced already so that should be good enough right so then we just need to have them output both of them so you can obviously output yours and uh, you can output yours as well I suppose red layer out. there we go let's see this works so I pick up the carbon dioxide oh no it's not dioxide it's carbon carbon, carbon monoxide oh yes the really dangerous stuff gotcha and we're breaking it down for carbon and oxygen okay that works, and I can't see many ways to make it better. Because realistically, okay. This one reaches before that one anyway, so. If I, I could make this one shorter, I couldn't make this one any shorter. This is quite a satisfying game. And right behind the. below the. Uh, Average as usual, which is nice. Not by much, but it's enough to make me feel semi good about myself. Oh, interesting. This one's going to take a while and use no reactors and no symbols. Wait, what? Wait, what? The next mission is a production assignment. You must produce and deliver molecules to cargo freighters. In production assignments, you may use multiple reactors. Pipes carry molecules between inputs. Cargo freighters drop the large segment of the pipes connect. All materials must be grounded to reactors from storage tanks or harvesting facilities. Reactors input pipes to the left and that put pipes to the right. Oh god, that seems very complicated. Oh boy. Oh, I get it. Oh no. Do I click in there? And do I have to... Okay, no. Currently I don't need to do anything. But I'm guessing in the future I have to open that and do the modification. Alright, well... How do I make my pipes exactly? Ah, like that. Gotcha. Well, that's just making me know that the benzene has to go this way. Although, probably. Okay, sure. Okay, I see. So it's just teaching me about piping, but. I have a very bad feeling that I have to go inside those storage tanks and like make those complex elements at one point, but I don't know. Maybe not. Huh. How did people do it with more? Output nodes to reactors to remind yourself of what intermediate molecules you'll need to produce. Create output nodes by right clicking on reactors and adding add node. Okay, output nodes show up inside reactors, just like in research assignments. Bloody knew it. 
bloody knew it. So we're gonna need multiple different the reactor quota shows the maximum number of reactors you may use. The production assignment will not run if the quota is exceeded. Oh great, got limitations too. Andrew returned the next day. Chipper without a trace of distress. If anyone wanted to ask about the strange instance, she only smiled and ignored the question. Train continued as we moved on to more technical topics of field work. I always saw Angela sitting in the same table in the canteen. She would wave at me and I would nod before finding another seat amongst the other trainees. As the days went by, I grew tired of space camp food and the novelty of the environment. I loaded fried fish sandwich onto my tray but did not feel hungry. Angela watched me from a mental middle table in the center of the cafeteria. Hey, I said. Want to take a seat? She asked. Sure. I slid my seat in the chair and sat down. Andrew unwrapped one of four fish cake sandwiches on a tray. Gripping the paper um, eagerly with both with hands. I like it. Training's okay. I want to get back to, get to work though. I meant these, she waved, the fish cake in front of her face. Space can's specialty product. It's patch of protein. The fried coating crunched and flaked onto the table she bited, beating. I watched in awe as she devoured the food product. My appetite firmly suppressed. We sat in silence as she opened this, her second wrapper, the paper crackle. So, Angela, how long have you been on Semdeer 2? She wiped her mouth on her sleeve. Eight months. I was halfway through rotation when I left. Yeah. You prefer being settled in one place? No, I had to take this job. There's some difficulties during my last assignment. On oh, the one she won't talk about, she's probably the one, one of the people who was a survivor. Um, well, you're a great trainer. She didn't give me one pain smile. What was your last assignment? I don't like to talk about. The conversation dried, died, and she turned her attention to her food, staring off past whilst chewing. She didn't touch, I didn't touch my fish cakes, and said she didn't toss them in the trash after her the table. I didn't think your mum would appreciate that. All right. So, I need hydrochloric acid. So I can build a single reactor, and I can pump in. The hydrogen and the chlorine. And then I can pump out that. And to add a note, add a note to the upper pipe, it needs to be H and then C. Okay. Cool. Oops. Right. Alright, let's go into the reactor then. Or not. Wait, what? Do I not go in there now? I assumed I went in there and fixed it up now. Double click to edit the reactor program. I see. Yes, it is that. Okay, this is fine. So, we can first of all change the location of where that's going. And change the location where that's going. Yeah. Which means in a. Oh, actually, no, I can't. Um, this is changing like that. There we go. That'll work. Yeah. Then we need to go input A and input B. That needs to be on the blue layer. Then we need to go this way and we need to grab it like so then we can go down here and they can sink and they can bond and these guys can drop and then you cycle back around. Oh wait, no, you've got to grab that too. So never mind, it's got to be somewhere we can both do this. So I have to be a little bit further off than that. So anyway, you go there, you grab it. So both of you now have it. And you go here. It's going to be up by one. And then you both want to sink here like so and then okay and then I just need to circle this back around like so 
because this one can just go like so. So, in a grabs, sinks, excuse me, you're meant to be further up than that, sorry, sinks, okay, and then you want to drop, okay, so, you grab, you drop, and then you continue on your merry way up here, and you're going to drop it there, and then you're going to circle back around, so, you go back down there. And on your way out, you're going to put the output there as well. So, let's see what happens this time. So, let's press play. So, they're both in. Why do they both wait there? They should wait there. That's a, okay. I don't know why it did that the first time. Alright. Fair enough, that does its job. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because it already had the pipe going out the other way. Okay. I did that one about as expected, though I definitely didn't do it as efficiently as I could have. Alright, alright. So... Let's look here. The easiest way is probably going to be linking the hydrogen and the oxygen together in one, and then putting two hydrogen on either side of it. So, once it's done. so I can probably do that all in one reactor, but I can't because I can only do two inputs at one time. So let's do that and that. Okay, and then we'll do another reactor which will go directly out there, which is exactly what we need. Okay, so this one, add note to upper output, it needs to have a D. The oxygen, sorry. It's an oxygen. And C, with a double bond. And it should be in that direction. Cool. Okay, so that one goes there. Now this one, on the other hand, now this one should add note, so it'll be the double, it'll be the oxygen, and the carbon, with a double note, um, can I move this so I can see the, okay I guess not. Uh, was the hydrogen meant to connect to the carbon or the... Okay, I think that's formaldehyde, which is what they want. Good, good. I probably should remember the name in general. So yeah, that will go formaldehyde. So we're good. Okay. Let's go inside these reactors. So the first thing I need to do is create myself... ...some oxygen. Which means, once again, let's... Uh, Start with the same thing we did before. It's going to be a double bond, so we'll do that in the way we did it last time. Okay, so first things first. We want to input A, go over here, grab it, get these two synced. Okay, that'll be fine, that'll be fine, that'll be fine. So, we do a bond here. We do a bond here, then we go here, and this will be a drop. Gee, we can technically they drop together, can't they? So yeah, we can drop together that way, like so. That'll be perfect. Yeah. So start in, grab, drop, bond, drop, and then we go back. You go back, like so. And we need to use another sink for the blue right here. Okay, very good. And then we want to go this way. So we can do in on B. We want to grab the carbon. We wish to go up here, wait for it to be together, bond them twice, go there, drop that one, and then do a circle. 
and you've got the longer distance to go so the one who needs to be doing this output is you and then we move along here and we should be as good as it gets so let's see so yeah, why is it doing that exactly oh because we're waiting for it to come from the production facility got it yep and then we out it and there we go okay now that's doing its job so at this point i can go and do the same to this one it will take a while for this to come here but we're just setting it up currently so that's okay this will be the harder one honestly so what we need to do is bring in this first of all so that will be your job oh oh nothing's actually making it there yet is it Should be, right? Excuse me. What's the problem? What exactly is wrong? Stop, let's see. So, it goes in there, does an in A. They both grab it. They drop it. They use their out. And what's the issue? I'm very confused as to what the problem is. Everything seems like it's going okay. to drop it at this exact spot is that what the problem is because that's annoying if so let's do that so. wait I don't I don't see what the problem is exactly yeah there it goes there and it's waiting to go so we should be right to go in this one okay but what's the issue why can i not edit this can i just say i'm good with this now like oh because i'm because i'm got it <laughs> i'm an idiot because they have to run together okay we're fine so, the big thing is it will take some time for the carbon monoxide to get there. So, the first thing you can do is you can get the two heliums ready in the right spot. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it, which is the two loops. So, first things first, one in A that will be there. Then we wish to grab this and we're going to drop this then we go back around and we in a again and then we go this away and then we go this away and grab drop again But then you actually want to go back this way because yeah no okay and then you want to grab drop again and you won't be the one doing the link i don't think so you can go back then to the center to the stop and then go here and then i'm guessing you okay for now let's see what happens so it's coming in like this means we need to send this blue eye up here we need to in B which may not even be ready at that point so that might be an issue too that is a good point though we might need a sink in here so we can make sure that they're ready to go um, actually you know what this would, if I put a sink at the end of the red track, it would make it go a little bit slower, but it would ensure that both the hydrogens were in place. 
before this guy starts to do his job. Which is not a bad idea, to be honest. So, I'm going to go here, use a bond on that, and then I'm going to go out here. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to leave. I'm going to output. And then I'm going to go back to my loop. Let's go. So we wait for the input of the hydrogen. There it comes. So one is there. The other is there. So then we wait. And they come through and you did not grab that. Oops. Okay. You were very much meant to grab that. Yes. Grab. The other thing is we need a second sink. We have a second sink at one of those. Let's see what happens this time. Because if it takes out of the way fast enough, it should be fine. But it does one. I think the fact of the matter is it needs to do the sink in the middle between the two. That should be enough time, I hope, for the other stuff to come through. Oh, shoot. The problem is, it's not ready for the sink. It's not ready for it. And I don't think it actually knows which way it wants to. Oh, nope, 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 nope. nope. Control's dead. That was not what I was expecting to do. Okay, it still did that. So, shoot. So it's actually got to be the red that. It's got to be the side ones that. Okay, which means you've got to. Oh dear, you're going to have to drop this in and then you're going to have to sort of like go around this way and then do the bonding like this. Oh god, I don't like where this is going at all. I don't think this is going to work at all. You also go grab drop again. You gotta drop this up here. And then you have to go back around and oh no, but then the red will have to do the the pickup. Okay, so the red will have to do the pickup now. So we'll delete that. Delete that. Delete that. So then the red will have to do the delete, the moving before it loops back around. Oh boy. Which means if there's something there, no, but see, it's about to do its second loop there. Wait, wait, follow around. This does it once, and it drops the second one. Then it loops around again. But if it does that, I mean, but there won't be anything in its hand if it's dropping there. But it's dropping there, so it will drop there again anyway. Let's just see what happens so I can actually see in my head. So, it waits. It goes here. It grabs the first hydrogen. Puts the first hydrogen there. It grabs the second hydrogen. And it can't get through because that's all there. Let's undo everything and start over. Oh, I thought this would be a lot easier than it was. Okay. Probably is a lot easier than I think it is, and I'm just overthinking it. So. As this one's going fast, so it takes it out. Okay. They've each got to look after just one hydrogen atom if they can. 
problem is they both get from right here. So I'll need a grab drop there. And I'll need this to be an in A, first of all. They definitely need to do that. And then... Okay, they better see that is a, is a big truth. So, you will go in. You will drop the atom there. Meanwhile, you will come in. You will get that. You will drop this atom right here. And then you'll go up here and pick up this atom. Which also means I need an in A here. Okay, so in A. So, you will then pick up this atom. You then go back around here. You then go here. You'll then drop this atom. This is the point that they need to sink. Because this one will then have to come in and also be synced. Oh, but it can't be synced there. Let's see what happens so far. So, press play. They're both waiting. This one should get it first. Oh, because it came in over there for some reason. Wait, why did it come in over there? Wait, let's watch again. What the hell happened? It should have came in up here. You know what? I just realized something. Hold it. Why is that coming in there? That's not where it was coming in before. If it was coming in there, it'd be perfect. In fact, I could probably just move all these down if that happened. So maybe that's the thing. Yeah, but they can't put the sink. But the sink is going there. Uh, let's see what happens. So, come in. So I wouldn't even need this grab drop. Okay. But why is it coming in? Oh, because that's where it's getting dropped in. Of course, because I fixed that so it didn't... Okay, let's see if it's going in the right place now. I didn't realize that to be so perfect. Okay, now it should be coming in the correct location. So exit the reactor. All right, so now it should be coming in up here. So we can expect it to be up there, which is fine, because then we don't need to touch it at all, right? So I need to grab and drop, drop this at all pick up this I can grab it and I can drop it there and then I can go back around and I can do the bond if possible which it won't do otherwise let's see what happens if I do it when there's not so this one should come in it should drop it there then this one comes in. It doesn't do anything. Just it's a one bond. Okay. It goes through again. And second bond. Okay. That is good. But then how do I get to be grabbed? That's when we need a sink. And this one is coming. The problem is how do I do a sink? On this. again see if we can see a, a pathway this so it drops one down it waits it does one sink grab the other one There's another bond. you know what I wonder if the secret is one of the secret is that I don't get this one to do that. 
right? Instead, I get one bond from this one, and then it circles around, waiting for the word on the sink, so it can start again. Which means this one can then come through, and it can do a bond. waiting for its own sink so it's got to be so I think this one has to wait for that and then it has to grab this move over there drop it move outwards move away from it do the loop and then do the output and let's see what happens. So, they're both waiting. A, um, the red receives its hydrogen first. And then, it waits for word from B. He comes in, does the first one. Gets the second H, puts it down. Then waits for him to go through. And, oh no, shoot. This sink has to be further away. It needs to be a lot further away. So it can take a bit of extra time. In fact, just give it a... I don't really care about how long this takes at this point. I'm not going to do this perfectly. So let's see what happens this time. So, we wait. To get a second sink, which I guess is possible. I think a second sink is exactly what the doctor ordered. So I'm going to put one sink there and then put another sink there. And then that should mean that he won't continue going until... In fact, that means we don't need any of this stuff either. Okay, so let's get to that. If I've done this correctly, it should mean that he will wait for the red to get back into first position before continuing. Exactly what you want in this. So drops it down, he goes and does his job, grabs a H, puts his in, and then waits. So then, he's, he's still waiting, and he waits for the output, and then it repeats, and it works! Yes! Two sinks! That's what the- wait! Oh no. Ooh. Shoot. That was so close. It did one, but it didn't do the second. Shit. She's probably need another sink somewhere. Oh damn it. I need to watch this again and see if there's a place. So, they both wait. He gets his A, his H, his helium. It's hydrogen, sorry. H-E is helium. He does it. He waits. He's still waiting. He grabs it. He waits. I wonder if I just need a third sink. I think I may just need a third sink is the answer to this question. basically need to make sure he does it in the right order. So, let's see what happens. Actually, no, that won't work because the whole problem wasn't that he wasn't there. The problem was that he can the red continued on. However, I could have another sink. No. I He's going to get one across again. That's not good. way to say check like if this then ah because now there's nothing there which means he now needs to see uh oh okay that almost worked actually it stopped him from going straight ahead 
almost work. But where's the part it all falls apart is the question. Part it all falls apart is when he goes on. This guy needs to do the first bond. This guy needs to do the first bond. So like, the whole point is he is doing the first No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because he drops. He puts his in place, does the bond. Then he does the second one, does the bond again. He does the bond. Okay. He grabs it. He lets it out. Maybe I do only want the one set, but the problem is, if he does it first, then I can't do that. That's the problem. If he does this first, he's going to take it. can only do one at a time this way. The goal is I need it to be in the exact same starting position when it ends. So the thing is they wait. So <clears throat> he grabs one, he's still waiting, which is fine. Then we sink. Okay, pause. Then we sink. This is fine. Because he then goes around and gets it again. At this point, this is the preferred section. The preferred bit. We want this to happen. Then he waits. Maybe the issue is... I think I know what the issue is. I do need a second sink. I need a red sink up here. That should do it, I think. Because if it's that would mean that he would start in the same position he did before. Sort of. So he waits, he does his bond, he goes grab the second one, he puts it there. He then waits. She goes through, does her bond, grabs it, takes it out. We're then together, and we go together, which means he gets his in first. But we didn't get the bond. Pause. But we didn't get the bond there because he was a little bit too late. Yeah. So this one needs to go a little bit longer before moving. So that's all I think needs to happen. So move this out, move this there. comes in, does his boots, his part, goes in, puts the second one down, where she then goes, and connects. Grabs it, takes it, he waits. They then go together, he goes first. Problem is, still a little bit late. So, this one needs to somehow be a little bit slower. Probably means I'm gonna to need to do a silly little thing like this and hope it works out. Well, it does. It, the point is, when it goes to a, when it goes to a sink, then it doesn't really matter what happens after that. So, let's see what happens. Bond. Bond. Takes it out. Be after the sink that happens. It's actually okay, so let's do a sink right back here. Okay. Let's just play. Okay. 
watch. He waits. He does that. Then he does his other one. Oh! And that's enough! Wait! Yes, because she does the bond. And he goes through, and I think that's it. Oh god, this is going to be a terrible solution, but I don't care. Oh, I just appreciate the fact I did it. Holy hell. I did say this game was for smart people, and clearly it's not for me. So that says a few things. Okay. You know what? That's enough for me for now. Will I play it again? Maybe. Probably not for an audience unless someone really wants to see me struggle or who knows how long. I just want to see how I compare. I'm guessing I can compare poorly. You know what? I, I take that as a win. You know what? I'll take it. it took me a, bit, a little bit longer than everyone, but... Smack dab and average. So it's fine with me. I woke to find a rustle of an envelope climbing the door. I pulled a pair of socks for sitting foot in the cold floor. Someone gasped outside as the envelope retracted. I pressed the um, excess panel and the door glided across the open. And just sprung up, clutching her yellow red envelope in her hand as well. Her blue sleep shoot dagged, dragged into the floor as she stood there. For Good morning. What are you doing? Just seeing a midnight stroll. Can't sleep since I'm sorry. What do you do? You should get back to bed. Wait, what's that in the envelope? Nothing really. Why bring it now? It's your assignment. She plucked the plucked the papers from the folder and thrust into your hands. Working with my old manager's job. He's great. On the sheet was a planet, Dagamon. Staff hierarchy and employee number, ID number. None of this information meant anything to me. It's not that that okay, unexpectedly. I pulled the paper and slid in my pocket. Thanks. With a gush of breath, her smiles return. And then I get to go here. Ooh, there's actually a... There's actually two different options here. You know what? Yeah, this is fun. I definitely don't want to do But, you know, I'm, I think this is a good game. It definitely makes you want to cry. Get through it. Yeah, okay. So, thanks for joining me. This has been Space Cam. It went okay. Um, we went through the first couple of worlds here, the tutorial and the first proper world. And, um, yeah, I think it was okay. I hope. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Mountain of Shame, and this has been Space Cam. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.